YouTube, what is going on? Scenario Talk 23. I'm back with another video. Before we get into this video, YouTube, I need you to hit the like, comment, and subscribe button. Turn that post notification bell while you at it. <sighs> so it was either yesterday or the day before yesterday. We all know CJ So Cool got shot four times in a home invasion. He made it out alive, thank God, and I think he's still in the hospital or something like that, but we finna get into this video to see what really happened. What's up, fam? This your boy, Cut to the Taste TV. I'm your gracious host. It's a beautiful day. The weather's great. I'm feeling good. I'm looking good. I'm smelling good, and so are you, and I know it's true because you are here watching me. And since you guys are watching me, y'all might as well say the intro with me. I got some news for you niggas today. Popular YouTuber CJ So Cool was shot four times last night in a home invasion, and now everybody is speculating about what really happened. Some people say he was set up. Some people say it's an inside job. And now you even got some people say it's his flashy lifestyle that's sitting true just kicking down his door, guns blazing. CJ So Cool is often seen on social media flashing money, showing off jewelry, showing off exotic cars, basically showing everybody his luxurious lifestyle that everybody wants but can't afford. And that's the problem. I'm going to keep it real with y'all. We don't even got to speculate what happened. We don't got to go down the rabbit hole. Did his girlfriend set him up? Did his best friend back door? None of that is true. This is a good old-fashioned robbery. Every time we see CJ so cool on social media, he's showing off his wealth. Showing off his exotic cars, flashing jewelry, taking pictures with stacks of money. And then got the nerd to caption the photos, let me motivate you. Motivation Monday, I got $10,000 in my hand. That's going to motivate somebody, all right? That's going to motivate somebody to rob your ass. See, we keep thinking we're going to show off our wealth. We can show off our success. I worked hard for this. Let me show you what I got. I got that new Lamborghini. I got 20000 in my hand. This is my money. Hard work pays off. And we tend to think other people will be happy for us. We tend to think that the average person is going to sit back and say, damn, CJ so cool is living a life. I'm happy for him. He's motivated. <laughs> They don't He's inspiring do that, me. That's not how life works. See, the average person is seeing CJ so cool with all that money, that new Lamborghini, that jewelry, and that's what they want. They don't want to bust their ass like you did. They don't want to become a top-earning YouTuber. They're looking for a shortcut. So when they see you talking about let me motivate you, I got $10,000 in my hand, they're looking at you like a lick. Let me find out where CJ So Cool stay. I'm starving. It's cold as hell. Let me rob him to get to ahead in life. He, he don't deserve it. It's not meant for him. That should be me in his position. That's how your average person feel. Now, I know as celebrities, I know everybody want to say, man, you should be able to show off your wealth. He should be able to show off his hard work. It's a shame he can't do it. Yeah, he should be able to do it. But that's not how life works. I got little ass chains on. And when I'm out in public, if a stranger walk past my car door, I'm locking it. Because I know somebody will take you out for the smallest things. Somebody value materialistic things more than your life. And that's why they kicked down his door and gave him four shots. They was trying to end him. Because they value his materialistic stuff more than his life. They value his money more than his life. And that's the image you put out there. Now I get he's a YouTuber. I get he's a social media personality. I get that people follow him. He's a vlogger. He want to show you that good lifestyle. But all I'm saying, you got to be more careful. If you know you are living a high class lifestyle, if you know you are showing off your wealth all on YouTube, all on Instagram, you should hire security. No cap. You should... Home invasion proof your house. You How the hell they got in there. so easy? You got your girl with you. Take the necessary steps to ensure everybody is safe. That's how you do that. And I'm definitely not speaking from experience. Y'all be saying, oh, cut to the chase, I love you. Oh, cut to the chase, you're so funny. Nigga, I am broke as hell. My hard work off YouTube ain't paid off yet, so I'm not speaking from experience, but I'm saying, <laughs> I'm speaking from the uh, experience of a hungry dude. He said, I'm not somebody that man. got it, somebody that's looking on the sideline like, oh, I see him. Yo, he in Las Vegas? He got all that? Let me watch his social media and see what I, when, when can I get him. We see what happened to Pop Smoke. 
Pop Smoke cut the camera off. He was showing off some clothes he got from Amiri. And he accidentally left the tag with his home address on it. And what happened? Around 4 a.m., some people kicked down his door and killed him. CJ So Cool is definitely lucky to be alive. I'm happy for him. I said a prayer for him this morning. So he's definitely doing okay. And then I seen him on Instagram. Got shot four times and went right to Instagram. And this is what he had to say. What do you have to say, man? Like, whole process is different than regular soap. Large I'm broke as hell. <laughs> He's stupid, yeah. Boom. This is CJ So Cool Instagram post. In the hospital, I got shot four times in a home invasion at 3 a.m. Please keep me and my kids in your prayers. So far, I'm doing okay. <laughs> no. We see you posting on Instagram. This is how I be with. If somebody gets shot... And I see them post on Instagram. I know they're okay. I know they're in stable condition. Because he was really fighting for his life. Instagram would be the last thing he was doing. So that's good. He's in stable condition. Now, after he made that post, I see a couple people make videos. I see a couple people speculating. It was a setup. It's an inside job. Maybe his ex-girlfriend did it. I'm not doing all that. Because I know what CJ So Cool posts on Instagram. I know that he has pictures with money. I know that he likes showing off his wealth. So it ain't a rocket science to see somebody say, hey, man, it's time to go get him. He's doing a little too much. Hmm. We hungry out here. We can hit him. We know he got that big house. Let's hit him right now. That is very possible. But another thing I want to know about this whole home invasion, I want to know, was he actually robbed? Did they just kick down the door and shoot him four times, or did they actually take something from him? From him? Was it a tussle, or did it seem like they was coming there on a mission to end them? That's very important. Because you tell me men kick down his door, fire four shots at him, but didn't take nothing, that kind of seemed like a contract hit. Mm -hmm. That kind of seemed like a pay hit. That kind of seemed like it was a targeted, right? Because you just simply want to rob somebody. You don't really put four shots in them unless it's a tussle, unless there's a struggle, unless they run. So that's what I'm very interested in. Yeah, and then CJ just, So Cool oh, girlfriend, man. Lexi, she posted on Instagram him sitting in the hospital bed. And she said something very odd. I'm not saying she's guilty, but this is a very odd thing to say. Take a look at this. This is CJ So Cool girlfriend post. She said, oh, my baby is okay. Cool. Thank you, God. Home invasions are no joke. Thank you to everyone that's helping and working on this case. What kind of reaction is that? Your man just got hit four times in a home invasion. And the thing you do is post a picture of him sitting on bed and on Instagram talking about some home invasions are no joke. We know that. Why did you have to, why, why did the need you have to put that in that caption? How can you just say my baby's okay? Thank you for the prayers. But why you have to put an emphasis on this was a home invasion? It's no joke. That's why people saying you look suspicious. Now, I don't, I'm not saying that. I think it was him being flashy. Maybe he invited somebody to his house. Maybe it was an old friend, but it's definitely somebody that knew where he stayed at. And it had to be somebody who knew he didn't have no weapons in there. He didn't have no protection. Because oh if you God, see CJ so cool see, on Instagram, you see him on think. YouTube, and you see he lived that type of lifestyle, you would assume that he got a security guard with him, or you would assume that he has protection in that house. So exactly. this had to be somebody he knew. Or somebody he currently knows that did this. That's all I'm saying. And I'm just saying, like, you meet a lot of people. You invite a lot of people to your house. You think y'all cool. But you don't know what's on that person's mind when he leaves your presence. He might have been telling somebody, hey, man, I would just be seeing you so cool. Where? That YouTuber? Where he stay at? And you might have slipped up and told him. And that's, you know, they kicking down his door. So that is possible as well. So we got to look at all avenues, all options. That's why you got, when you get up like that, bro, you got to watch you. Man. We I'll can't do it, conspiracy. Bro. We got to look at what really happened, review the facts, and then go with our first thought. That's what we have to do. But in my words, man, if you're an entertainer, if you're a rapper, especially if you're black, move smart on social media. You ain't got to post all your cars on Instagram. You ain't got to post your jewelry. Every time you get a jewelry, rappers be posing, growling at the camera. I got a, this new piece costs $100,000. That's going to make somebody come for you. It's a good. It's all right to lay low. It's all right to be humble a little bit. You ain't got to show every blessing. That's all I'm saying. You don't have to show every blessing because your life is worth so much more than materialistic things. Now, I'm happy CJ So Cool is doing great. This is the best news I heard this today. I'm happy for him. God bless his family. Say a prayer for him. And I hope you get 100% healthy because I'm glad to see you back doing content. I'm going to see a new content. I know it's going to be fire. 
You're my son's favorite YouTuber, so I'm glad you're okay. But anyway, guys, those are my thoughts on this whole situation. But I want to know how you guys feel about it. So leave a comment, share this video. I love you guys. Peace. Hurry in and get 50 cents. See, he was right the whole video. If I'm surprised that he didn't have no security. Because it's like he's been doing YouTube since at least 2016. And he's been up since at least 2018 so he should have been had security it should be no reason somebody's able to break into your house all that money you got all the jury this and that and i don't know about yet i don't really watch him the most i don't know if all them kids be him with him or not but he anyways they shouldn't be able just to break into your house that easy you need to get some burglar bar doughs or something because that should never happen bro but just keep them in your prayers. YouTube, if you're rocking with the channel, leave me a like, comment, and subscribe. Catch me on the next one.